All right, last week was our flashback <laughs> February week on PTL when we looked back at favorite moments from the past. But here's just one more. The day Lydia Bastianich was filling in for Heather as my guest co-host. <laughs> you may know her from her cooking show on PBS, her books, or, or even her restaurants. In fact, she owned Lydia's in the Strip until it closed its doors here in Pittsburgh. And I have to admit, I was a little star starstruck whenever she filled in for you. Yeah. I mean, it was very, very cool, and she was cool. But I remember at one point, like, touching her hand, like, reaching over, and I said, I just touched Lydia's hand is what I'm thinking <laughs> of myself on TV. But today, I am sharing a recipe we got first from her show. Yeah, and it's a recipe that she got from a chef friend, mm -hmm. right? And then, David, you and Gary. Yes have been making it and you've added your own little twist to it. Is that right? Yeah, we've done. We've changed it up a little bit, but it's, it's still the basic premise is yeah. hers. So it's a pasta and chicken dish and its base is a rustic tomato sauce. I'm told. Yeah, you actually start with the chicken, which is one of our additions because we wanted a protein to be in there. So here is the edited version with all the outtakes removed. <laughs> Sorry, Heather, but I really hope I do this justice, Lydia. Hey everybody, welcome to our kitchen. This is our kitchen and our house, and we've already made the chicken. So we took chicken tenders, uh, we put them in this skillet with some olive oil, salt and pepper, a little rosemary, a little thyme. These turned out beautifully. And now we're gonna use this pan. I haven't cleaned it out or anything because it has wonderful flavors in there, and that's where we're gonna build our sauce. All right, so I'm gonna begin by putting olive oil all across the bottom of this pan. Then I'm going to crush some garlic cloves, just like that, and then we throw them right in there. Next up, we're gonna take rosemary sprigs. We're gonna throw, let's throw three or four in. And, and once again, this is gonna give tremendous flavor. Uh, and then some red pepper flakes. So here we go with the red pepper flakes. All right, now we're gonna add the tomatoes. So we have cherry tomatoes and grape tomatoes, just a mixture of them. And I'm just gonna put them right into the skillet. Now we're gonna put a little bit of salt on the tomatoes. All right, next up, I'm gonna take some pasta water. We've been cooking some pasta over here. In fact, it's Lydia's pasta. We bought some of this, it's bow tie pasta. And we're gonna take a spoonful, a ladle full actually, of the pasta water, it has lots of starch in, and we're gonna throw that into this pan because Lydia does that, and we wanna follow Lydia's recipe. So she learned from a chef friend in Italy sort of a secret, and this is sugar, and just use like a spoonful of sugar and put it in there on top of the tomatoes. It's really gonna make the flavor just pop. Okay, now once the tomatoes are cooked for a while, you're actually gonna smash them down because it's gonna make more of a sauce. So just work your way through the skillet and smash these tomatoes down with the skins on and everything. And this is gonna be beautiful. So this is reducing down and it's time at this point to pick out the rosemary sprigs that we put in there and the garlic that we put in there. We wanna get that back out uh, because the wonderful flavors are already in there, but we don't actually want to be chomping down on rosemary sprigs. Okay, so the pasta is al dente right now because we want it to finish cooking actually in the sauce. So I'm gonna scoop it all out here and get it into the skillet. Just let it cook right there in the skillet, mixing this around. Here's when you use that chicken from before, you add that into the pasta. And next, you take some basil leaves and you rip them up and toss them into the skillet as well. Now turn the heat off. This is when you add a little bit of Parmesan cheese on the top. It's gonna melt very nicely. And then we've added something else to the recipe. We like to grind in a little Italian herb seasoning just to give it a little extra zest. We're gonna add a little bit of olive oil and just kind of stir this mixture in. It's looking fantastic. Now it's time to plate this. So we're gonna put it in a nice bowl. And we're gonna get lots of everything. So we get the chicken and we get the pasta and lots of the sauce and the cheese in there as well. Here's how Lydia tops it off. So you have your bowl here and then she puts a little bit of ricotta cheese on the top. She doesn't mix it in, she just puts it on the top. And then we're gonna put a sprig of basil there, some basil leaves. And then she just drizzles a little bit of olive oil on top of the ricotta and it's time to try this dish. And so I wanna get a little piece of everything, some of the pasta, some of the basil, some of the chicken, and give this a try. Oh, I can't wait. Mmm. 
The flavors are fantastic. I hope you try this recipe and I hope you love it as much as we love it. That looks so good. Can I just tell you, yeah. the entire time I'm watching that, I'm wondering how much is Gary telling you? Oh, almost all of it. That's not right, David. Gary is the cook. Yes. And, and you know, and he was also the cameraman there. So thank you, uh, Gary, for doing that. <laughs> Was he, but, was he getting frustrated with you? Well, no, he, we, we, I, I've said this before when we've shot other cooking segments at home. He's a creative mind, too. So he's like, well, why don't we do it this way? And I'm like, no, why don't we do it this way? And then he's like, well, why don't we then change this up and then change that up? And then by the end of it, it's like, okay, we made it through that. <laughs> it's a strong marriage right <laughs> But there. anyway, I, I love the recipe, and I'm so glad that I was able to share it with all of you. And once again, I should say, we added a little bit to this. Yeah. Lydia did not have a protein in it, so we've been adding the chicken. And uh, sausage you've, you've done before, we've too, right? I, we've done it with sausage as well, and of course, the Italian seasoning, which you don't have to do, but it's it was so good. We didn't plan on, like, the day that we made it, we didn't plan on eating it that night, at least not right away. We ate it, like, immediately, because it was so good. So so we have the recipe posted on PittsburghTodayLive.com. And Lydia, if you are watching anytime you're back in town, please join us again. We would love to cook something up with you again. That looks really she, good. And she's just so I just warm. One of my favorite people. She tells the stories of food. It's not just a recipe. It's like this means something to me because of this. Yeah. And you know, it's, it's she's great. a real joy to be around. Yes, she's fun.